It's Salvation Trend. Good day to all my viewers all over the world. My name is Lady Evangelist Bukolo Latulu from the United Kingdom. I'm going to be speaking to us on the topic that says how to be set free from evil imagination after salvation. The book of Acts of Apostles chapter 1 verse 8 says, And you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. After salvation, we confess our sins. We need the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot do anything. It will give us power to be able to overcome sin in the flesh and to live a righteous life. And also, after the Holy Spirit has come into our life, we need to make conscious effort daily to live a life that will guide our heart, our mind from the devil creeping into it. According to the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 23, that says, Guide your heart with all diligence, from it comes every issue of life. Our mind is filled with so many thoughts daily. What am I going to eat? What am I going to be in the future? What will what, what will become of me? Is it from going to church or praying? What is if we are not careful enough of feeding our mind with positive things and have a positive mindset, the devil will use the opportunity to come into us to make us derail from the path of salvation. That is why as Christians do not be anxious for anything. The book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 says, Do not be anxious for nothing in prayers and supplications. Make all your Request to be known unto God. Praying, meditating on the word of God, reading the word of God daily, we give us the grace to be able to, co to, to control our mind and our thoughts. Also, the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 says, Whatever is lovely, whatever is noble of good reputation, think of these things. We should focus our mind on things above and not us think below. 